these things. We have been talking for months about this circumstance and point by point, it's almost like we've described the, the scenario that we're walking in right now. What we're facing right now is a coup, okay? It is a coup. There are things that are unfolding at a high level. I'm going to give you the answer I feel biblically and prophetically that's going to begin to give you hope and strength as we go forward. Now, hang in here with me because we're going we're gonna to check some things out right now. I want you to see this. Uh, if you could uh, join me over here, I want to show you something and I'm going to begin to de declare this to you. And I think there's some things that are unfolding we need to begin to talk about. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about this terminology around what they describe as a color, a, um, a color, I'll just say it this way better, a color revolution. That's one way to say it. But we're actually, you know, what it really is, a color revolution is actually, it's a coup, okay? It's like a, um, a coup without saying it's a coup, if you understand. So what's happening with this scenario is this color revolution is where they begin to bring people um, into things, and it has to do with uh, regime changes. Now, I'm going to talk to you about this in just a moment at a higher level. They do a regime change and they do it without uh, military. They begin to walk down a road and it's without military. They do a regime change. And what they honestly do is they engineer, listen to me, and this has been planned. Okay, they engineer um, a, um, a contested election. Now, I'm going to get into the prophetic here in a moment. You want to hang with me, all right? There's, there's things going on. They engineer a contested election. That's what they do. They manufacture it. They, this is what they're, they're... It's an engineered contested election scenario. They contest an election, and it's combined, listen now, with protests. They combine it with protests. They call it protests. But we'll, for our purposes, just because of the way it is, we'll call it rioting. Okay, There's, so they, they do a regime change by contesting an election. They begin to prepare for voter fraud, all this stuff that's happened. And then they do massive protests. And uh, in our case, you know, they call it uh, peaceful protests. It's actually rioting that they're inducing. And these things begin to happen. They label it peaceful protests. And they also call it a civil disobedience. Right? Okay. They label it all these things. They say, oh, no, we need to do this. We need to stand against this stuff. This is the age where they call good evil and evil good. And that's what's happening right now. So we're seeing this color revolution, this coup d'etat, so to speak. But it's through a regime change. And they do it by contesting an election. Now, they've weaponized the vote. They've weaponized what's going on. Now, go back with me to the election night. Here's what took place. You began to see people that were voting. Things happened. And there was a surge beginning to happen for red. And in that picture... They realized that couldn't happen. And before it could take place, they stopped all the voting. Why? They stopped the voting because they needed to figure out how many more votes they needed. They needed to figure out how many more they needed to flood uh, the Electoral College with to win. And then you're looking at what's going on right now. And only in the states where they're contested, you see all these Democrat leaders that are in charge of this. And they won't let anyone come in and eyeball what they're doing when they're recounting or they're adding ballots or looking at things. Whatever they're doing behind the veil, they're not letting anyone that's not part of their affiliation watch. I'm telling you, that is horrible what's happening. And God is, is uh, I believe, bringing answers to us. And I believe we're going to wake up and begin to bring answers to this circumstance. So listen, ladies and gentlemen, we've got to lean in right now. we got to begin to see the face of the lion rise up on the people of God. And I'm going to talk about this at a high level and what we do, because I believe very strongly I believe very strongly the Lord is calling his people to mobilize and stand up. I think we need to get out and start uh, chanting and being in some of these places in the cities where that's located. I think people need to get there and start shouting out and being present in the circumstances that are happening. Now, listen to me. Jesus is literally speaking to his church, and there's a lot of people that are being all passive. Listen, do not get into fear. Lean into what the Lord is saying. I have a lot of words about what's coming. Yesterday, we were talking about Daniel in the lion's den. Goliath's sword, these things that are taking place. And if we begin to arise in this moment, I believe the hour of our victory is right in front of us. Now listen, there's a lot more we want to get into, and we're going to talk about this at a high level. Let's recap what's happened. Look at this. In the beginning of the year, 
right at the beginning of the year, right around March and then into April, all of a sudden we began to have this sickness, this plague came across the land. All these things. Now, I think it was a real scenario, but I do believe it was weaponized politically. I said that from the beginning. I said it from the beginning. This is a weaponized political understanding. There's a weaponized media thing that's going on, and that's what began to happen. That was a wave that came across to the point that they said, we need a lockdown and stay home, and you got to do this, and you got to do that. And, and they began to uh, train the culture to shut up and sit down. They began to train the culture to think like lemmings, to be in a group think, to do what we tell you to do, right? And it's still being pushed right now. And then, of course, we had the mask mandate, all the things happened. Then from there, you begin to see all of a sudden a riot breaks out because of a, of a scenario around George Floyd, the things that unfolded there, and then it snowballs forward. And I believe that that affected the economy. So between the mask mandate and between George Floyd and then what began to unfold from there, I believe that was the lion, right, roaring at us. Then the bear came and it was trying to shake the global economy. Why is it trying to shake the global economy? Economy. Because all these people that are globalist in mindset, all these people that are trying to take over society through their elite evils that are standing up and doing these things, what they're trying to do is cause us to have an absolute economic meltdown. They need to get this current administration out of the way, and they need to crash the economy. They have to, to take over. So what we're doing is we're being a thorn in the side, so to speak, of this evil spirit, and we're going to rise up, and I believe we can still conquer this if we do not faint. And here's what's happening. I believe that this is what they're doing. And then finally, the Lord showed me the, the lion, the bear, and Goliath would come. And Goliath would come in the form of intimidation. It's, it's not going to work. It's not going to happen. But I've got to tell you, Goliath was defeated in the end. And I believe if we stand up, we will see victory. Now listen, they may announce that, that Biden wins. They may announce all these things. But I've got to say to you, I don't think if, if our current administration believes that there's cheating, and which they do because they've witnessed it, I believe they've been ready for this. I believe they're looking at it. And I believe this is going to go to a legal battle like we have not seen before. It's going to be contested. And I think there's a lot of circumstances that could unfold. It could be the Supreme Court just says, hey, we're keeping you in power. It could be a number of circumstances that unfold here. Now, I got to tell you, the very future of our nation, the future of this, this nation, your nation, is on the line right now. Now, Jesus is Lord. If we lose this, I don't think that all is lost. I don't think it's the end of the world. But I do got to say it's going to be a lot harder. And I'm saying to you very strongly, the Lord showed me. I had two dreams uh, over the last year and a half, almost two years ago now, that I shared at meetings and publicly announced where I saw, uh, I woke up from a dream and I saw the president lose the election on two different occasions in a dream. And the Lord began to speak to me. This is a warning. It's a warning. It's not absolutely, listen, it's not absolutely in stone that that'll happen, but I do believe strongly that if we rise up in this occasion, we can begin to see victory coming forward.